Good afternoon traders, Richard Miller here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of the FTSE 100 index. We've had some interesting price action last couple of days after becoming quite extended from the top end of the cloud here. The market pulled back, tried to find support at the standard line of the baseline which generally can be a quite a good support level. We can see a previously uh, market did rebound from that level. But sliced right through it only to find uh, or to test support at the top end of the front cloud. So it's critical for the market to stay above this level. There is downside risk to the bottom end of the cloud here. We can see these levels here. If I can highlight it, uh, we'll take the old cloud chart level. So we'll start with support levels there and the other one there. So we have these this cluster of support at the bottom end of the cloud. As well as these lows here, there's also support targets in case the in case the um, the rally dips into the cloud. So the key question is will the FTSE rebound from this top end cloud chart support test or will it slice through and retest these support levels within the cloud only to end up set testing 6,213 the bottom end of the cloud and ultimately 6,1 and this level coincides well with that level and that's a major major support zone on the uh, on the FTSE for the time being. So there's downside risk to these levels 6,200 and 6,080 but if we get a rebound uh, between today and tomorrow's price action for a potential rebound from the top end of this cloud that will be very encouraging for the rally to continue like on the daily basis so watch out for a potential rebound from these levels if we're going to drill into the weekly interesting the weekly is there's the line in the sand here at 6313 that is the q1 support level with the bottom end of the cloud as the other support level just below 6,000 here. So 6,313 is a line in the sand here on the weekly chart and there is downside risk to that level because we've had two down weeks, maybe a third and then a potential rebound from this uh, from this level here uh, or the top end of the cloud. So there is uh, that is the trading potential there. If we go to the four hour chart, gives a bit more of an intraday feel. We can see price action sliced to the bottom of the cloud. We failed to find support of the cloud. And now the downside targets would be 6313 as a next as a key support level. But we're currently testing this support zone. Now this coincides well with the 6450. That's a four hour cloud chart support level. And you can see these are key support levels. So potentially for a short term swing trade rebound from 6450 back up to the bottom in the cloud. That's kind of what we're looking for here. If support fails, yeah, then the next targets are these levels to watch out for on the on the daily chart. Okay, until next time, happy cloud chart trading.